you're out uh, recruiting, are you, uh, I know you're selling a lot of things. Are you selling plane early? Is that one of the things you bring up? Or is well, that... I think there's great opportunity here at the University of Akron. We have a lot of things in place here that a lot of other people in our league do not have in place. Um, we have an infrastructure in place to be very successful. Um, we need to get the players on our team help. Um, and there's opportunities to play for young guys on our team. And, and uh, so we're certainly selling that opportunity. We're selling the great academics of the University of Akron and the commitment the university has made to our football program. And um, you know, we, it, it's, it's a, um, I think, a bright future here. I know it's a bright future here, and we're also um, going to articulate that fully when we go out and recruit. What's the, what's the biggest thing you've learned from the past year? I mean, what's about, that's been quite a year. But, uh, you know, a lot of things comes across your desk when you're the head coach. I've learned that. Um, and some of it comes across quickly. Um, I've enjoyed this year. I have not enjoyed um, the final results on Saturdays like we will in the future. Um, but I've enjoyed getting an opportunity to lead this program. I've enjoyed the interaction with our players on a daily basis. The most fun I have is on the practice field. I love the practice field. I love going out there. That's our classroom. And I love going out to the practice field and working with our players and seeing guys develop and seeing guys grow. And as I look in this meeting room and I've seen guys grow, tremendously as people since the time our staff has arrived here. And um, that's going to pay great benefits for us. We're going to have several seniors graduate here in December, which I think is awesome. Another group graduate, you know, come spring. And to see the guys get a chance to do that with a degree from the University of Akron, I'm proud of that. We have a lot of things we have to get better on here. There's no question. I'll be a much better head football coach in year two than I was in year one. And our program will be, that, it will be better also. So I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting on a recruiting trail. Um, looking forward to our players finishing up school the right way, doing well on finals, and then coming back here in January with a great enthusiasm for improving Akron football. You talked about your disappointments, but what was your most memorable moment then this year on the field? Well, you know, I'd say I always remember running out with that team for the Syracuse game. You know, your first opportunity to, to, to be a head coach in Division One A football, which is something I've strived for. Had a lot of family there. Had my father there. Um, that that'll be a great memory for me. Um, you know, going through that, um, and obviously the Buffalo game. You know, getting your first win. It's a conference win. It's at home, and it's not an easy thing to do for a team to continue to improve during the course of a season when things aren't going well. And a lot of teams, some teams finish with not a lot of wins. But they get those wins early in the year, and at the end of the year, they haven't improved. What, what I think our team showed, and it's a credit to our staff, first and foremost, that, that they were teaching, they were coaching, the guys were listening, the guys were improving, and they were all buying into what we were doing with the football program. And that is very rewarding to me at the last month of the season. I know during spring football, there's always some position changes, trying guys out. As you went through the last three or four games, Without being specific, did you envision some things you'd like to try? You know, maybe not as much. as okay. I might not get as dynamic as I did in the middle of training camp until you go down here and play tight end. Yeah. Um, I, I don't envision that as much. You know, Dylan Potts will be one young man um, that, you know, probably if we had, he hadn't become the second team quarterback, would have played on special teams. Okay. And again, a guy that would have contributed to us. But once he became the second team quarterback, we couldn't do that. So Dylan will, will most likely either move to receiver or defensive back mm -hmm. when we go to spring practice, um, certainly with the addition of Zach DiRaggio um, coming in. And, and uh, so um, and we appreciate Dylan you know, being very unselfish um, and doing what was best for the team during this fall. That's the one that comes off the top of my head. And we'll see what it comes up. But you know, uh, I've seen this. You know, I have, we have a good feel for our personnel right now on our team. Um, we will potentially add some other guys at semester to our team, some high school guys um, that have signed with us before and maybe a couple other guys that will enroll here that will help us as we go into spring practice and then, then bring in a good complement of guys in the summer when we start summer school at the end of June. Um, <clears throat> with having with Matt Rogers of having a couple of concussions, um, is, is he going to be clear to play at any point or is that up in the air? Or what's the status? It's still under evaluation at this point. And, uh, Towards the end of this week, when I meet with our medical staff, and then I'll meet with Matt, and we'll, we'll, we'll discuss his future um, and, and where it's going to take take him. You envision everybody on the staff coming back? Or, I, mean, I told our staff on Saturday I would like our whole staff to come back intact. 
Um, I think we got a good thing going here. Um, I like the way our coaches, first and foremost, care about young people, interact with our team, and teach. And, and I, certainly from, from my perspective, I'd like everybody to return. Are they on one-year contracts? They are one-year contracts. That's what I thought. Okay. <coughs> coaches have different philosophies when it comes to bringing in place kickers and punters and things like that. Whether you just go out and recruit one and give him a scholarship. Well, Zach, Zach Campbell will return for, for his last year with us. That, that Zach and I discussed during the course of the season. We will go out and recruit a place kicker in this class. Mm -hmm. um, you know, having a good core of specialists is an important part of your team. And uh, Adam Steiner has been a very good long snapper for us. I thought Zach um, you know, punted pretty consistent, consistently well during most of the season. There's a couple of games he'd like to have a couple back, but he did sustain an injury in Ohio U game, which wasn't advertised, which did hurt him towards the last part of the season. And, um, and so he'll be back for us. He'll be a veteran guy. We will recruit a place kicker for sure. Is that a tough position once you bring a guy in to coach? Because I was thinking about that in the sidelines. I mean, the punter's timing's off or something. You know, Most assistant coaches weren't yeah, kickers. For, fortunately for us, Jim Maselli, um, back to when he was an assistant at Maryland, coached the punters and okay. kickers and has spent time researching that position and coaching that position. So with Vince being our special teams coordinator, Jim coaches the punter and the okay. kickers, which allows Vince to now concentrate on the punt coverage and punt protection and those types of things. So it's been a good compliment there. So I do have a coach on my staff that has, has, has experienced coaching that position. So it's not one of those where, okay, just don't, just don't talk to them. You know, yeah. Go ahead, fix them. And, and see how we can fix them. How would, would I don't talk. I stay away from that myself. I, I know where, where my expertise is not. <laughs> With Igor and Branko, I mean, how, was that a tough thing to have to tell one kid your, your last game, but he's taken over for you? Or, um, no, it was one. not. Yeah, okay. and, 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 and Igor understood that. Okay. To Igor's credit, he was very, very okay. understanding in that. Um, but, but at that juncture, that's really what it dictated um, to do. And to Bronco's credit, he did a great job Saturday. And that, that field goal, yeah, huge. to say the least, was huge. Mm -hmm. so. Any thoughts then on uh, how to slow down Terrell Pryor next September? Yeah. Or are we my, <laughs> thoughts, my thoughts are on the team meeting at 3 o'clock today. And, and how do we got to do to get our football program better during, during this offseason?